Byzantium. Constantinople, surely. Byzantium, when you caught a fever and fell gravely ill. What friend, his name, please? I have sworn never, never to reveal his name. Then your story is full of holes. We were up in the mountains when his fever heightened, and I knew he would be dead before I could get him down. We came upon a high, deserted cemetery overshadowed by an ancient ruin, a temple with a half classed statue of Artemis the Huntress. In the heat of day, the birds circling above, I laid him down to die. Fiction was compelling, sir. He begged me for water, and when I returned, I saw a rock nearby with a great bird and a serpent riding its beak. It, it was, was looking at me. I shouted a curse. The bird tossed the serpent into the air and devoured it. Then it spread its great wings and flew with slow grace over the graves. I gave my friend water. Upon his neck was a mark, red and angry like the two-pronged bite of a snake. A miracle, he whispered, and with the last of his strength, he made me swear to tell no one of his death. An oath that I am breaking now. And he said that in a month's time, when the moon rose. What a fabulous tale! This is too fantastic. You don't deserve my secret. I thought of bestowing that priceless gift upon you, you waste it. I do that offering to this girl. That'd be a fine thing, don't you think? To have any mortal poor. She could wreak vengeance on mankind forevermore. What happened to your friend? My friend died. He whispered the secret and we died? Perfect. I held him until he was as cold as the rock he lay on. And then what? I dug his grave. The bird watched as I worked, perched on a broken goddess, a hunt silhouette, and the shadows that seemed to have a human shape. I buried him and ran, stumbled through the night. At the first light I saw a coast and found a town. I lay in a fever for a month, hallucinating terrors, as if letters of Byzantium requesting aid. Constantinople, surely. And then, the keeping the night boat. 